out my phone. Andy messes me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Today's the day, apparently. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Andy's coming today. Andy says, loading. I'll be at Nanaimo Airport at 345. There's a two hour stop in Vancouver. I said, wicked brother. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> oh my gosh good morning buddy your old friend Andy's coming over bud today I'm laughing because I really wasn't too sure which day Andy was coming I know Andy told me I think he says something like the 16th and I really wasn't too sure but I'm like that's ah, alright Andy will text me like when he's leaving and then, and then I'll just go pick him up <laughs> And then and after he texted me this morning, I'm like, oh, yeah, he said he's going to probably leave around the 16th from here. So Mr. Overland Interiors, the guy that's responsible for all this big, beautiful work, is coming into town. And it's a big day today, my friends. We have to go to the new shop because my first big delivery from SOK Batteries arrives here. Plus, I got to go meet with the electrician. Lauren's coming back in today. And... I should have an arrival update on when the final parts for this engine come in. Let's get up and then let's check all our emails and all our tracking numbers and see how close we are to getting me and Cruzy back on the road and us, well, out in the dirt. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, welcome to another day here in the uh, mad, mad life of a uh, Van City Van Life. do today is clean up the shop a little bit now that everything's painted underneath whoa don't knock those over this morning bro what a messy mess feels good to have all the frame and stuff all painted All these products here are for the new online store. And these are coming in by the truckload right now. This is uh, officially it. This storage locker is just about full. This is a whole shipment of a new product that just came in. I was hoping that by the time all these products started to arrive that we would have enough done at the new shop space that we would have a, a dry semi-heated place to put things into but well we're not quite that far yet on the new shop john and sherry thank you for breakfast this morning it's been really nice to be back sleeping inside of my van but it's really going to be nice to be back sleeping inside of my van while it drives <laughs> coming soon baby oh speaking of that let's pull over and check the tracking number and see when those parts and ports will be here What's coming, what's coming, what's coming? Boom! Coming Thursday between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Let's go! Cruzy, the parts are coming, which means we get to go back home soon, bro. All right, at Lordco, got to pick up a power steering pump. Want the power steering pump. I think, man, I think we're gonna have all the parts ready to go this time. <laughs> Cruzy, we got a power steering pump, bro. That's a power steering pump. It's still weird to get into my shop. I have to walk through the people that lease the downstairs space, walk through the back of their company, walk through my wall, which isn't quite there yet. Oh, we have a garage door, but my actual door door is going right there. Update on my delivery. Where are they? They are officially here in British Columbia. And I'm downright stoked on it. So anyway guys, we're gonna take a walk here around the back of the shop. Back here we have a plug, so we can plug in our vans back here. There's another plug being installed over here, right there. And the crew has been out here wrapping the building. So 
The building's been sitting here for years with the original wrap on the outside, but there is a few tears and stuff around it. So the crew came out here yesterday and started to rewrap this whole building because once the big garage doors go in the front, the owner will be putting siding on the entire building. And I think he's going with like a dark gray on the siding with a white trim. <laughs> I love it. The electrician's on his way here too. He wants to go over some of the plugs and stuff in the building just to make sure that everything is correct on the ceiling. The ceiling part of this place is the wild one. We have so much going on up there because we're doing this crazy hexagon lighting. It's gonna look wild right above each bay door. Plus we have all the high bay lighting upstairs, but the lighting up there is a little bit tricky because I want the lights on this side to be on one switch, the lights on this side of this bay to be on one switch, same thing going all the way through. And then the crazy hexagon lighting we're doing above here has this hexagon pattern in the middle, which I want on one switch inside of each bay and has a bordered LED trim all the way around it. I want that on one switch. So we're going over it today just to make sure everything is good to go. But uh, as of that, we have an inspection for electrical and once the electrical inspection is done, we can move on to the next stage, which is uh, insulation. And I know some people have been asking, how am I going to heat this shop space? So we looked at doing gas, we looked at doing, you know, running the heaters like we have in my shop because darn it, those things work. I could probably put four or five of them in here and run them off those diesel heaters, but we're not gonna do that. We're actually going with the mini split heating and cooling system. So they're a heat pump system. I ended up getting an amazing deal uh, from a very good buddy of mine that works in the HVAC industry. Thank you, brother, for that. And uh, lining me up with an awesome deal. We're putting three two-ton heaters, two-ton units down here, and two two-ton mini splits upstairs. That should be plenty of heat and cooling for the space, which is great to have it cooled. You know, in the summertime, when we know we're gonna have a, a super hot week, we can shut the doors, make sure those babies are on and keep it nice and cool in here. Not like it matters to me because I won't be here in the summer because I will be on the road traveling as always. <laughs> no plans on being here in the summer, let me tell you that. All right, we're gonna do a little test fit of the new high bay lights in the shop just to ensure that we have the placement right. Electrician just got here. Mike, you're a good dude. These little lights are actually really small. Crazy the amount of light output they have. Look at these. The tiny little buggers. <laughs> so cool. So we've tried a few different lights in here. We tried the, the 100 watt ones and they just weren't enough. So I got the 250 watt, 250 watt ones, they weren't enough. And now these are the 200 watt ones and they seem perfect. So Mike's getting up on the scaffolding and we're gonna place these up there just to make sure we got the proper amount of light distribution on the ground. Cause if this is too close to the wall, it might create a dark spot there and be too bright on the wall. So we're just gonna play around with the placement. Would you like a push? A gentle push? Is that how you roll? <laughs> Not bad, dude. You're doing good. Here, I can give you a little, a little gentle push. You good? That's how Mike gets around when he's in here working alone, just shimmies himself by pulling along the two by fours up there. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys I bought new rims for the van. <laughs> I'll show you that a little later. I know we had that big discussion the other day of uh, going spacers or going rims. We bought rims. I think the spacing visibly looks good and it's not bad. It just, it seems to hit the walls quite a bit, but I don't know if that's gonna change. That one's tipped that way a little bit anyway, so is that one. I think 
think they're good. Okay? And so like when I hung them over there, like when I was looking at replacement, I'm like, look, here it dies. It's perfect for another girl over there. It's just the way it was lined up. But it's always pretty good. I think I think just for general shop life, you're running from all the ball on. Come on. Come on, buddy. The one is loud in the shop. You can come down this hallway, bro. You can go all the way up the stairs here. And you can go hang out up here where it'll be nice and warm. Hey? Okay? I'll even put a couch up here for you, buddy. This is all yours, Cruzy. It's your new big domain. Okay, we'll throw a couch over here for you and you can go sit on the couch and stuff if we're being noisy. Sound good? Sound good? <laughs> what's that, buddy? Hey, what's he doing? What's going on over there? What's he doing? Hey, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing, what's he doing? What's he doing bro? Cruzy's not sure. <laughs> what is that? Go check it out. What is that? He says to make sure everybody's everything's okay. It's all right, buddy. All right, so the delivery guy hasn't come with the batteries yet. So the guys downstairs below our shop here, uh, they're gonna take my battery order for me. Need some food. <laughs> Hey, that perked you up, didn't it? Okay, we're gonna get head back to the shop and give you some breakfast, okay? We gotta go get some bedding because I have nowhere for Andy to sleep and he is arriving in just over one hour from now. I'm gonna give Andy a choice. We can crash on the couch or we can build him a little bed on the floor. No big deal, we'll go buy him some of those foam mattresses that were on the bed of my van at uh, Canadian Tire and uh, snuggle them up on the floor. Well, that's a cool set. Well, there we go, Andy. There's your bed for the night. I needed an extra blanket for my van, so it gave me an excuse to buy it. <laughs> now we're just heading to the airport to pick up Andy. He should be here any minute now. Andy just texted me, his plane has landed and he is already here. You're supposed to be early when you pick up somebody from the airport, just so you know. I'm not. <laughs> I'm right on time today. What a beautiful day to fly into the island, though. I bet you that flight in was just gorgeous. Going to pick up Andy, bro. Look who that is. Mr. Overland Interiors. Hey, so guys. He doesn't know that's Andy. Hey, know, buddy. Interiors. <laughs> He's the guy that did all that fancy work inside of my home. Sorry for being late, bro. I had to buy you a bed. Ah, I hear you. Where'd you get an air mattress? No, no. We haven't. Just, yeah, just don't look back there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't have sleep. You see, you see my bed frame? No, I have no heater in this van. No, so, my, I threw all the new shipment of stuff I got from uh, for the new shop. Yeah. Put it on top of my bed to take it to the storage locker. And the rope busted the bed. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Pulled in. I didn't expect you here. On? Good buddy, how you doing? Good, good. We had to make a little pit stop here because I was going to throw my sign out because we have a delivery coming. Andy, that's Lauren. Lauren. Hey Andy, nice meeting you, bud. I thought we'd only have to put the sign out because we have an Amazon delivery. It's here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look at that, bro. Oh, Andy brought merch. <laughs> Overland Interiors, baby. In the house. While we're trading merch. Right on. <laughs> and I got these for oh, you. Oh, nice, too. dude. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I have a Corona in here if you want some light. Yeah, I got you. This warm, dude. And I am going to have a fake beer. De-alcoholized craft beer by Phillips yeah, Brewing. Oh, dude, that's a good... <laughs> that is such a good beer, dude. 
Van full of weirdos, juicy IPA. I might have to partake. Some pepper, some salt. We're doing some bacon cheddar, some bacon cheese. Ah, it's got bacon in it, bro. Mm. Cheeseburger with cheese in the burger. Because that's the way you do it. <laughs> hey, Cruzy. Cruzy smelt the food. He's like, here I come. What are you doing back here, Andy? Oh, just looking what you did. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to fix it. What do you mean fix it? <laughs> well... A little rough on the edges. Yeah, she's so, lived in. It's taking on some moisture right. back here from the doors. And oh yeah, it's still working. It's still, oh yeah, hundred percent. Still, still working. Everything you, works. Nothing is broken. Hell out of it. Hundred percent. What's that? Do you think you'll head east again this year or no? Not this year. No. Yeah. My daughter's graduating this year, so. That's important. Yep. Yeah. This is where van life, believe it or not, got good. <laughs> and it's crazy because you wouldn't think that. Building a real home makes that much of a difference. It did. It does. Going from being like just for some sure. home furnishing cabinets out bracketed to the wall on the floor. It was good. It was functional. But once you built a real permanent home, it, it was felt a, comfortable. changed everything. It, yeah. it made it home. Changed everything. You didn't have to worry about banging down roads. That think, Well, if you guys missed those videos, so a long time ago when I came to Overland Interiors and we pulled my home furnishings out of my van which was what i used it's like put together stuff we pulled it out i rocked those cabinets back and forth and they fell apart like maybe eight or nine times and they literally yeah. crumbled yeah. that was a good series of videos that was a lot of fun so nice to have andy out here okay we got to cut up some stuff so we can put things on burgers he wants to make sure that he can uh, trip me so i can fall right? yeah Fall, buddy, fall! Yeah, he's like, yes, come on. There's a plate. Thank you. That's how we roll around here. I got my own sauce now. What you got? Chipotle. What's going on, Cruz? You want me to help you make bad. Andy's bed? It's gonna take a bit of cleanup. What's going on, buddy? What, what's going on? I'm gonna spray some Febreze, buddy. You'll be good. We'll find out. Do some decorating. Yeah. Oh, I hear a tow truck. Here's you gotta stay inside. What the heck is coming to my shop? Did you buy that? What did you buy that? No. What the heck is that? Bunton towing, what the heck? She's a beauty! You get a good deal on it? Yeah, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beauty. What's the matter, bro? You don't like it? That's it? You don't like it? No? <laughs> Alright, while the chaos is going on outside, let's make Andy a home. Jokes, Andy's got jokes! <laughs> It's looking good, bro. Overland interiors, fine interiors. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good that I get to return the favor and build you a home. Oh, thanks, buddy. You can screw that bulb in, it's not working. Hey, it's nice in here, bro. It's cheery. <laughs> You're building cabinets in here too? Nice. Nice. Okay, I'll give you my ideas and you can kind of, I don't have a CNC machine, so. And there's brand new bedding in there too, bro. Yeah. And a brand new blanket. It's only $250 a night. Hope you enjoy. Do it. What's going on out here? So this is Sean from Bunton Towing. How's He's the guy that brought me my forklift, also a subscriber of the channel. And today here on the Van City Van Light property, this Toyota is getting a V8 engine swap. The engine from my van is going into here tonight. Hey, don't scratch my paint. Don't scratch my paint. I try not to. Oh no. Hold on, hold on. Hold the engine on, man. <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> oh, look at that, baby. Oh, perfect. Nicely lined up. Oh, that thing's going to rip, bro. 
Ivy. That's beautiful, bro. Come on, look how nice that yeah. is, buddy. You even got red carpet? Yeah, red carpet. Oh my god, look at that. Oh yeah. Not Disco a, lighting. Not a bad guest house. Do we know? Hey? Yeah. That's pretty stoked. That's for you, buddy. Andy built me that. I built Andy that. Andy built half of it, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I figure I figure we're even now, right? Close. <laughs> that looks pretty good though, bud. Right. Not not bad, not bad. Not your own your own little room. private place. Just so you know there's no handle on this side. That's fine. There is one on that side. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, you hear those. Uh, see you in the morning. Good night, bro. Yeah. Thanks for bringing donuts for the morning. No problem. And that's it. You just stuff the rest of it inside. Camera inside, and we go. Shoving the rest of the rest of my van in there. Get it. Oh, that'll work. That was a fun way to end the end of video. You're not gonna stay with Andy, you're gonna stay with me. Is that cool? <laughs> oh bro, it looks good in there, buddy. That was a crazy fun ending to a day. <laughs> Dropping that engine in that Toyota car outside was super satisfying to watch. And kind of sad at the same time to watch the engine that has taken me traveling all this time go away like that, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry to my engine that you had to leave in a beat up old Toyota. <laughs> but hey, it's, that's the engine's coffin for the rest of its life, I guess. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. I'll let you guys go. Tomorrow, we have something very interesting planned for tomorrow. We might be, uh, we might be taking some sledgehammers to something and completely destroying the inside of something that's parked here. So come back tomorrow and check out the madness that we get up to. All right, guys, see you soon. Keep your double Vs up and uh, peace out, bro. Good night, Andy. <laughs> Good night, Crazy. All right, I'm gonna shut the lights off because this is the part that you guys don't want to see. Woo! <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>